Houston Rockets are the number three, the number 17, and number 29 overall picks in the 2022 NBA draft, and they made all the correct choices. The Houston Rockets are my biggest winners of the 2022 NBA draft, and they won it big time compared to all the other lottery teams. The new players are now in Houston, and the Rockets, they all got all three big time players. All three players should help the Rockets win more games in 2022 slash 2023. All three players I think are gonna have big roles on this team. They all fit extremely well, and I think they're all gonna have some big minutes. All three of them seem to have some really great personalities. And I can say on behalf of Houston, Rafael Stone, GM of the Houston Rockets, and their management absolutely nailed it. I'm gonna give them an A plus for this draft, just like last year where they got an A plus as well. The Rockets, just they just got so much better in terms of forwards and their wing players, and they really addressed their backup point guard as well. Let's talk about Jabari Smith, the number three overall pick by the Houston Rockets, surprisingly dropped down to number three after Paolo Boncaro was taken number one overall and Chet Holmgren was taken number two overall to the Oklahoma City Thunder. Jabari Smith ended up being the perfect fit for the Houston Rockets and the best possible choice for Houston as well. And in my opinion, Jabari Smith is the best player in this draft. And the Rockets got an absolute steal at number three. Orlando made a huge mistake letting go of Jabari Smith. This guy, what he brings offensively and on the defensive side of the ball, clearly makes him the best pick in the draft. And the Rockets are able to land him in their laps at number three, which is just an absolute amazing opportunity that the Houston Rockets have got. You know, I've always wanted him. He's been the guy that I wanted. A lot of Houston Rockets fans, they always wanted Von Caro. And, you know, I was okay with Von Caro because I just thought that Jabari was going to go number one and Chad was going number two. But that didn't happen. So now we get the 19-year-old, the youngest player in this draft, the best player in this draft, 6'10", 220 from Auburn. He's going to fit right into that starting lineup at the number four spot, power forward. Should be a star for this team. Um, he's, everyone expected him to go number one, so he's going to have an extra chip on his shoulder to be even better. And in my opinion, should win the NBA Rookie of the Year this upcoming year. And... This guy is just so amazing offensively and what he can bring with such a great jump shot. Accuracy from three point range, 42% from three, can make shots from 25 feet plus accurately and effectively. Great range as well, that's what I just mentioned. Definitely has a mid range game as well. Can pull up fadeaways, off balance jump shots. It's all there. Whatever you ask for shooting wise, it's all gonna be there already for Jabari Smith. Even at such a big size, 6'10", 6'11", guy can still maybe grow considering he's still a teenager. Um, he could still go to even seven foot. I mean, to see a shooting kind of like that at seven foot, it's just like KD, except what Jabari Smith brings on the defensive end is even more lethal. Also effective attacking the paint as well. The offensive game is truly there right now. Having him and Alpern Shangun at five at center is gonna be elite for this team in the starting lineup. Most importantly, like I said, he can bring it defensively. The Houston Rockets had the worst defense in the NBA last season, so you're definitely trying to improve that this season. That's what they're getting with this draft player in Jabari Smith. So versatile, guarding many different positions like guards, forwards, and centers. He can block shots, can stay in front of people. Both sides of the ball are positively impacted for the Houston Rockets this time around. Last season, the Rockets in the draft went with the best player available, and those players were just the way they were suited more towards offense now they get some defensive players and you can see where this rebuild is going you can see the pattern um and unlike Paulo Boncaro this man knows how to play defense and he isn't as thin as Chet Holmgren I know Chet can bring a lot um has a really great toolbox but Jabari is just the best right now for me I like his attitude definitely a great person person and just just really what a pick 17 points per game, 43% from the field, 80% from the free throw line, average about seven rebounds, two assists, one block, one steal, and can also dunk the basketball. The, guy, the guy's got everything. And now at number 17, the Rockets had a choice to get a guard like Milwaukee Brenham from Ohio State, but they took what many saw in mock drafts as their pick, the power forward from LSU at 6'8", Tari Eason 
at 17. He should step in as a wing off the bench, in my opinion. Also brings a great defensive presence. A really one of the best defenders in this NBA draft. Really versatile defender. 6'8", big size you're getting at 216 as well. The Rockets, uh, wing, uh, wing players are really big at this point. Houston Rockets obviously need a defense, and you get Tari Eason, who's one of the best defenders. So that, that's a great choice right there. You can get some strong presence in the paint, and I think Tari Eason can bring that as well. Um, he can definitely get to the rim and attack. He can also draw fouls. Has about six free throws per game averaged. Shoots that around 80%. And he also shoots 36% from three, um, six rebounds, two steals, one block. So really a versatile forward can shoot the deep ball. So I think he's kind of like a 3 and D type of guy who I think can be really helpful for this Rockets team. And then finally, at number 29, we get Ty Ty Washington from Kentucky, the point guard. So the Rockets traded that number 26 pick they got from the Mavericks in the Christian Wood trade and traded down to number 29. But they also got those two second round picks as well. So I think it was a very solid trade, only moving down three spots. And they got Ty Ty. Um, he should come off the bench as well as that backup point guard to Jalen Green, kind of an insurance policy. And not to Jalen Green, but really to Kevin Porter Jr. Because KPJ, we know maybe some of the issues that have been brought up, but he's a really good insurance policy to have. 6'3", 197. In his only year in Kentucky, he had about 13 points per game. Four assists, one steal, only average about one and a half turnovers a game. So that's really good. Doesn't cause turnovers. Shot 35% from three, 75% from the free throw line. Great scoring in the paint and inside attacking can also do damage in the mid-range kind of like an old school point guard that you're getting great floaters love the way that he plays i think he's a really good player to have and the rockets they just got players that fit the team and have good attitude and they're gonna help this team win more games in 2022 and you know, Paolo Boncaro was such a big surprise for everyone in this draft. For him to go number one to the Orlando Magic was a huge surprise. The Magic never even invited him for a workout. So I think it's a big mistake Orlando's making, passing on Jabari Smith, who is clearly the best player in this draft. And I was so happy that OKC picked Chet Holmgren. I think he's a great fit for OKC. And the Rockets stole the best player. And I think Boncaro was severely hyped up. I mean, I think Orlando might have just taken the bait there. Um, not too great of a jump shot, still trying to develop that. Still not too great defensively, not as great of a shooter. Um, but I would say Paulo Boncaro is the most NBA-ready prospect at the moment, but the Rockets clearly got the best. Um, and we can call it really the big four, Jalen Green, Kevin Porter Jr., Alpen Shingun, and Jabari Smith in the starting lineup with, I think, Jayshon Tate would be the other forward, but if Eric Gordon is not traded, then EG would be put in that in that number three hole. So this team is just so much better. Great forward. That's what they were missing, a defensive presence on the wing, and they got that. The improvement and star of Jalen Green showing even more. Shingun now getting more minutes in the starting lineup is going to be great. He's so amazing offensively. Definitely has shown promise defensively. Should be able to improve that part of his game as well. Um, KPJ should be continued to get better himself and Jabari is just a perfect fit among them doesn't really need the ball too much can catch and shoot it can quickly drive dribble drive and attack it can work off these three really well I think in my opinion and play that defense for them and then Tari Eason off the bench Ty Ty off the bench Garuba off the bench possibly Josh Christopher off the bench as backup shooting guard so it all works out you can see the plan and the Houston Rockets, maybe around number 11, number 12 seed, might be my prediction. Hopefully, they'll make the play in. Um, don't even need KJ Martin then, man. It's too bad if he wants to go. We would love to have KJ, but, you know, great that Christian Wood left. I love Christian Wood. He's a great guy, but unfortunately, wasn't a good fit on this team. Didn't bring it too well defensively. And I think Houston, we are good. We've got a great Houston Rockets, young core coming up, and should be exciting summer league as well. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to hit the like, subscribe, comment in the comment section. What are your thoughts on, on the Rockets draft? And I hope to see you in the next video. Go Rockets.